Okay, what I like to do when I'm reclassifying um, an elevation model in particular is use the symbology um, to just prep and make sure that it um, looks okay. It's kind of a visualization trick. Um, and it's a shortcut in the reclassify tool. So if I go into symbology, it's automatically drawn with a stretched color ramp, but I want to classify. And of course I want to build a histogram. Turn this guy off. Okay, um, where did it go? There we go. All right, for the purposes of what I'm trying to do, I want three classes. I've got a prime habitat, a potential habitat, and um, a no good elevation for habitat. Um, this breaks up by default pretty close to what I need, but I want these to be a clean numbers and I want them to fit my model. So I can set uh, these values here and get a preview of what um, my classification scheme is going to look like. So right now it's classified the minimum up to 1200 meters elevation, um, a range from 1200 to 600 meters elevation, and 1600 up to the max. So this is a preview. Um, it looks good and so it's easier to proceed now by running the reclassify tool. You'll see that when I put in my DEM, it pre-fills the classification window for me. Um, you can obviously go right to the reclassify window and put your class breaks in here. Um, I just think it's nice to visualize my data first, but it does take an extra step. Um, yep, so I'm going to go ahead and change these. Uh, this is my prime habitat. This is my unsuitable, and this is my, whoopsie. Come on, you. I'm just going to type this in. 197, we'll round up. Okay, my moderately suitable. Reclass South Dakota DEM. We'll see if it likes my rounding up. Yep, I got three classes. It looks like that was okay. All right, that's reclassifying elevations.